All right, hello there guys and welcome back to another Python tutorial. Um, in this video we're going to be going over the display function that we're going to be writing um, and then we're going to be changing a few things that I just want to change in the writing of the files. So um, I wanted to write the date at the start of like what date each transaction or whatever or the account was created etc. I want to write all that. Um, so let's get started. So we're going to dis define display um, and then we're going to print a blank um, line so that it splits it from the menu. Um, and then we're going to go, uh, we might as well copy and paste this one like we always do. Uh, if it is equal to NA, uh, not equal to NA, sorry, then uh, we print um, the account balance. Um, we also want to print a line, and then we want to, uh, no actually we don't want that, we want that, we want that, and we want to print, we want a plus rather than a comma, because a comma puts a space, a plus concatenates and adds them together to make no space between them, and we want to go string of, um, well I'm not sure this matters, string of current information too. So that's going to print the account balance. Now, if length of current information, ooh, current information is greater than two, uh, yeah, that sh should be right. Yeah, then we want to print. Oh, I've already done that. Print. Uh, account history. Now this is going to be so we can print out what the user has done, so when the account was created, all the transactions after that. Um, so we want to write a for loop for i in range ooh, that was right, uh, 3 to length of um, current information. So that's going to go from the third value because uh, you know that a for loop starts at 0, so this is 0, 1, 2, 3, so it starts at 3, so the first when the file was opened, because it's the fourth value, and then it goes to however long the file is. We now want to print oh, current information, and we want to put the i in there, so it prints every value, so it prints 3, prints 4, prints 5, and say 5 is the last one, it'll not print that. Now, if this is not a um, thing, then we go else print no account loaded. Alright, so now that's done. Uh, we can go ahead and test this again. So now, looking at this, we can load, say, file 3 was the one we made all the changes to, and this will have the most as you can see it has a long um, thing so now we're going to go display details and you can see here prints the account balance then it says it's account history account opened a thousand dollars deposit of a thousand dollars deposit of five hundred dollars withdraw of two hundred and fifty and withdraw of thirty six and then it goes back to uh, the balance and stuff now one thing I do want to change now is we're going to go back to the code. We are going to import uh, time because that's what we're going to go do, and then we're going to write out a little uh, few lines in the withdraw deposit statements and the account opening statements um, to show when the dates of the um, account being created. So what we want to do is we want to go plus, oh, yep, and then we want to go uh, time dot str file, no, str time, str f time, yet, yeah, yeah, that's it, um, and then we want to go um, 
uh, two parentheses, so, oh, is it parentheses, speech marks, whatever, and then we want to go percentage day, percentage month, and percentage year. Now those actually have to be capitals, so we have to go back and redo those. Um, uh, actually, no, only Y has to be a capital, um, and that is currently that. So, I'm going to take this here, copy it, we want to put a space and a, like that, and then we want to paste that in there, and then we want to go down to where we open the file, create the file, so that's, oh sorry, up to create the file, we want to also do the same thing here. So that's going to write out the date, I hope, I mean it should, hopefully. Alright, now if we rerun this code and then open the file, um, we should see it in action. Alright, so if we load, say, uh, user 3, so you can see he's the one with all the information if I display it, then you can see he's got all the withdrawals and stuff. So if we now make a deposit, and we say, say $500, oh, what have we done here? Customer balance in line 116. Right. Line 116 here. Yeah. Uh, so this is a, it's convert, can't convert into the string. Um, as when you're depositing it changes it into an integer. So this means you need to go and um, you need to go put the string tag around that one because it's being changed into an integer. Uh, because we didn't test this after put inputting this bit into the menu. Alright, so now going back to the code, it should work this time. Alright, so rerun this. Um, so we want to go to load number three. We want to make a deposit of uh, $40 and now we, if we display this you'll see it has got the date although it hasn't got the slashes in between it um, and so to do that um, you just need to put the slashes in the actual code which is something that I forgot to do but it doesn't make it any more difficult like you just go back through find where you did it after the letter you put the slash 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 uh, and uh, where is it slash and slash so now whenever you write into a file so if we get rid of those three files uh, delete delete and delete we also need to go into bank ID text and remove that and turn it back to a one files and remove those three files um, if we run the bank script again and we run it now we rerun it. Uh, if we load, there is no the file. The file system is empty, as you can see. Uh, so C. Oh, that didn't work. Okay, so on this one, I've forgotten to put the parentheses because uh, upper is a function. So if we go to here to do this, you'll see I didn't make it a function. That was my problem there. So it just skipped that because it thought that selection.upper was one big function, or one big uh, variable, sorry. Right, so now, going back to test the code, um, if we load again, you'll see it does that. We'll remove that in a second where it just goes to menu if there's no files loaded. But it goes back to menu when we put that. So we put S, Steve, we go $600. Oh, what happened here? Uh, so this one here also requires... Um, used it to put a customer number inside a string within this first function due to when it's created it's not created as a, um, a inter integer I don't think uh, it might be actually I don't know um, we, can, we can make it do that anyway uh, ID number integer file information and now it may work still uh, let me just test that. No. Okay, so we need to you need to go down and change that in the code down here. You need to make it into a string. 
string. Actually, you could possibly just um, you could possibly just do it in when the ID is created. Maybe I'm not sure, but this might be the easiest way to do it. Um, we run that now and rerun the code and go open uh, Steve 3 and we go starting balance 700 there you go okay so it was just the fact that this was being set to an integer and you can't concatenate integers together um, I guess that, that does become quite a large problem when um, yeah uh, it also could be because we're concatenating rather than with the comma, like with a comma, it doesn't have to be a string, it can be an integer. Um, the only thing we're concatenating actually, yeah. Uh, so we're, we're going to go and, and change that. So here we can remove this and go like that. And we can remove that and go like that. And then we can remove the string from this because we don't need it. All right. So this the only problem this makes is we can remove the, both the spaces here. Um, and customer balance, we also want to put in a um, dollar sign so that it prints the dollar sign rather than just the number. Uh, so we're going to go back to testing this now. And we can see if we load number three, it displays all of that now. It displays this, which we can remove from the code in a minute. Um, now, if we make a deposit, oh, if we make a deposit of say 500. Make a deposit of 36, make a deposit of 800, make a withdrawal of 20, 46, make a deposit of 10, and a withdrawal of 39. Then if we display the information, you'll see here that it has the date of all the information, the, when the account was opened, the deposits that were made, the withdrawal that, that were made, uh, the current balance. And that is pretty much everything done I believe. Um, I'll be making a video after this of course to showcase it properly, to showcase every function working um, and the file systems and stuff. Although I can show you the file systems now, um, possibly. Um, so I'm just going to drag this up now. We have to go into bank accounts. You see we've got our three accounts that have been created. In the third one we've got all the files the money, the, account, the name, and the value, and everything is stored in here, and it's just loaded out of this file. Now the next thing I might do is making transfers between these accounts. So like say this person could transfer to this person here, um, and the money would be transferred and stuff, although that may require quite a bit more loading and <laughs> saving and stuff, but I possibly could do it. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching guys and stay tuned for the showcase video. See you.